Hello Europe, this is David Cullen from Canada. Today's topic is the very first 10 songs of the contest this year. I'll be going from my least favorites to my favorites. So it's a kind of a countdown to the, my favorite songs. So at number 10 is Finland. So that's not my genre. Rock is not my genre. So I rated that one a 6 out of 10. So I did rate my songs differently than what my other videos said just because some songs grew on me, some songs didn't grow on me as much. So it was a 6 out of 10 just because rock is not my genre. So I probably would never listen to the song again, but I do understand where it's coming from. Some people love the rock genre, so I think it'll do fine in the contest. My number 9, like most people, is Norway. So I thought other songs were a bit better in the national finals, but Tix won for Norway. It's a good song, but after listening to it a few times, I don't know where it's going to go in the contest. I don't even know if it's going to get to the finals. So that one I had at 8 out of 10 in my other video, but I dropped it down to 6 out of 10 just because listening to it again, it does feel a bit too dated. Number eight is Albania. So I loved her vocals. Just again, it's a bit dated. I don't know how well it'll do. So I gave that song a seven out of 10. At number seven, I picked Spain. So he has a great voice, but we have so many good songs so far this year. So I couldn't put them any higher up. So I gave Spain an eight out of 10. Number six is Croatia. So I love the song. She has great dance and her vocals are great during when she's dancing. So I think she'll do fine in the contest. So I gave that one an eight out of 10 as well. At number five, I picked France. So I love this song, I love it. But there's so many great songs this year. So her vocals are excellent. I like how it feels like it's going back in time to when that contest first started. So I gave that song an eight out of 10. Next one is number four, Israel. So I know this one, some people love it or they hate it. I think her vocals are excellent. I think she has the strongest vocals this year. We'll see how well they do with staging. Israel usually has really good staging, so I'm excited to see them. So I gave Israel an eight out of 10. At number three, so this is my top three, Lithuania. So the group, I love the group. They have such great fun, energy, talent. I can't wait to see them on the night. I think they could bring a party to the whole Eurovision. So number two is Czech Republic. Yes, I know some people don't like the song. Some people love the song. I absolutely love the song. It is so fun and dancey, and he has great vocals. So I think he'll bring something to the contest, and I think he will get to the finals. I don't know how well, but I think he'll do fine. And my number one is Ukraine. So they were my number one last year, and again, they're my number one this year. I love that song. This year's song is even better than last year's. I think they could do really good in the contest. I know it's a love-hate song. Some people absolutely love it or they absolutely hate it. So there's not really in between. It's kind of like when Ukraine won in 2016 or Portugal in 2017. It seems like the winners are always has the, I extremely love it or I extremely hate it. So you never know, that one might win. So what were your top 10 songs this year? Do you agree with my list or do you totally disagree. I know some people are going to say, how could you put Finland as your last place? It's because it's not my genre. I understand where they're coming from. It's just not my favorite. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you like my video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.